Hey everybody, it's Echo Papa, and today we're going to talk about a setting in Virtual DG8 called Loop Auto Move. Now what this is, is it allows your loops to jump around with your cue points as you fire them off. So let's go ahead and show you how it works. Now right now I have it turned off, so I'll go ahead and I'll show you the cue points. I'm going to go over to scratch mode here so that you can uh, watch them. Now as I fire off each individual hot cue, you see it just jumps to that position. And if at any point I set a loop, if I jump to a hot cue, it jumps right to that hot cue, but it does not save the loop. The loop is now lost. But with loop auto move, you can keep that loop and keep it jumping around. So let's go ahead and show you how it works. Go ahead and open up your options. Go to options and tweaks. Click here you can type in loop auto move see right here it says no which means we have it turned off go ahead and drop, hit the drop down menu hit yes go ahead and close this out now we don't have a loop set right now so even though we have the function turned on these cue points are still going to act like normal cue points but let's go ahead and set a cue point in Okay, now we have a cue point set. Now when we hit our hot cues, that loop is going to follow those hot cues around. And we can go to our loop function, we can shorten it. Now to get out of this loop at any time, you just click loop out. Now this function is good and bad. I kind of like it and don't like it at the same time. I like it because if you are jumping around and doing a mashup, instead of having to, com to continually have to reset your, your loops, you can set a good loop and then just jump around and it follows you around and th that's pretty awesome. Uh, but if that's not your goal, like let's say you just want to set a loop for like say an intro beginning, but then you want to jump out of it, you have to remember to hit the out button Otherwise, you're going to keep looping when you hit that new hot cue. So uh, you just have to remember that it's on. So it's uh, not necessarily a, uh, a big deal, but if you forget it's on, it can be kind of a pain in the butt. I actually found a, uh, a solution to this problem after shooting the video uh, where I kind of liked it being on and not always liked it being on, depending on the situation. Uh, but it's a pain in the butt to turn it on and off. Um, so... I found that I could map it to a button to turn it on when I needed it and turn it off when I didn't. Uh, and I just wanted to show it to you. I just moved it to um, a custom button. And here it is right here, loop move. And I fire off the cue points or set a loop. And then now that's following it. If I turn it off, when I get out of my loop, my cue points act normal again. So anyway, um, and to do that, I just went here, edit, and it's the command is setting, singular, not plural. And then in quotations, put loop, auto, move, end quotations, and then just save it and give it a new name. And uh, I was able to turn it on and turn off when I needed it. And I'm going to leave that button. I'm, that's not a button I'm going to delete because it's, I've been playing with it and I really like, you know, because I, I like the command. You know, but I don't like it for all the situations, and so when I need it, it's there. And um, uh, so anyway, I think that's the situation that's going to work for me. So anyway, that's the video. Uh, if you guys like this, please click the like button. If you really liked it, share with your friends, or better yet, subscribe. Until next time, my name is Echo Papa, and I will talk to you later.